In this video, I will show you how you can install Debian on a USB drive. This will not be a live USB drive meant primarily for testing, this will be a full Linux installation on a USB drive. That means that you can update the system and everything you do or change on the USB drive will be saved back to the drive. But before we start, welcome to the channel, here you can find topics about Linux, Docker, game dev or software development in general, or short, agile dev art. If you like that kind of content, then give a like, subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified when I release new videos. All the links from this video are down in the description and also down there are the timestamps, so you can skip any part if you want. In previous videos I installed many Linux distributions on a USB drive like Ubuntu, Manjaro, Linux Mint, Kali Linux, Pop OS and DevOS, Chrome OS and the list goes on and on, and I probably also covered your favorite distro. So for instance, if you are interested how to install full Zorin OS on a persistent USB drive, then you can check out the link to the video up there or down in the description. I am here on the official Debian website and the first thing that we need to do, we need to download the installer ISO. So go to download. The latest Debian version at the time of recording is Debian 12 by the codename Bookworm. And here is the ISO, let's download it. Now wait for the download and this one has only around 700 megabytes, so it's a lot smaller than the ISOs from previous videos, which had around 2 or 3 gigabytes. Download complete and here is the ISO. This ISO has only the installer, it's not full Debian, and first we need to flash this one on a USB drive. Usually you would use this USB drive to install Debian on a new machine, but in our case we will use this one to install Debian on a second USB drive. So yes, we will need two USB drives. The USB drive with this installer ISO can be any off the shelf stick, it doesn't really matter. But the second USB drive where we will install the full Debian on should be a more faster one. So it should have a decent read-write speed, otherwise the whole system will be very slow, you will get really frustrated and it doesn't matter if you have the newest machine, if the USB drive with the operating system is the bottleneck. So get a decent and fast USB drive. Now you could also boot this one in a virtual machine and install it on a USB drive directly. This could work for other Linux distributions, but for Debian it will probably not install all the drivers properly. For instance the network and Wi-Fi drivers are problematic, at least with this installer right here. That's why in this video we will use two USB drives instead of the virtual machine. So with that said, let's flash this one on the first USB drive and therefore we will use a tool called Rufus. This is Rufus, the official website, and I use this tool in almost every Linux installation video so far, so if you've been following me then you already know how this one works. So scroll down, click on the download link, download complete, let's open it, here it is. Now plug in the first USB drive for the installer, the off the shelf stick, I will do it as well. It already recognized my USB drive, then let's select the ISO, this is the one. We can leave everything else on default and press start. ISO image mode is ok. Now it warns us that everything that is currently on the USB drive will be deleted. So if you have anything important on there, make a backup first. I don't have anything important on there, so I will just continue. And now let's wait. Finished, let's close it. The USB drive with the installer is now ready and now we need to boot into it. I will assume that you know how to boot from a USB drive. You plug in the USB drive, you restart the system and then while the system is restarting you press one of the function keys, it's usually F11 or F12, it depends on your PC manufacturer. Then you should get the boot menu, find the USB drive in the menu, select it and it should boot into it. I will do the same on my machine as well and I'll see you after the reboot. We are now inside the Debian installer and now it's the right time to plug in the second USB drive for the full Debian installation. I will do it as well. Now let's go through the installer, I will go with the defaults, so English is ok, location is ok, keyboard. Now select your primary network interface, I will go with the Wi-Fi adapter. Here select your wireless network and log in. Host name Debian is ok. I will skip the domain name. If you want you can give the root user a password. But if you leave this one empty, the root account will be disabled and the system's initial user account will be given the power to become root using the sudo command. That's what I want, so I will leave this one empty and continue. Now give your user a name. Username is ok, continue. And give it a strong password. 
time zone is OK. Now here under partitioning method, we want use entire disk. Now select the USB drive where you want to install Debian that we previously plugged in. In my case, this is the one. Now be careful here and don't select the USB drive with the installer that's currently running. In my case, this is the one. If you select this one, then the installer will break and you will probably need to flash the ISO on the USB drive again. So make sure you selected the right one and continue. If you want to have a separate home partition, you can do so, but I want all files on the same partition and continue. Here, as you can see, it will create three partitions, an EFI partition, an X4 partition and a swap partition. Now select finish partitioning and continue. Again, here you can see a simple summary what will be done. Write changes to disk. Yes. And continue. I don't have an extra installation media, so no. Now we are configuring the package manager. I will go with the defaults. Debian.org is OK. No proxy. If you want, you can participate in the package usage survey. Default is no, so I will go with the default. Here you can choose a desktop environment. Gnome is the default, and that's OK for me. Now after about 30 minutes, the installation finished. Let's finalize this one. Is the system clock set to UTC? Yes. Continue. We are finally done. Now we can reboot and boot into the newly installed Debian. Again, after the restart, you will need to open the boot menu and select the USB drive with the full installed Debian. I will do the same on my machine as well, and I'll see you there. And here we are inside Debian. We already got the welcome screen, and this one is now running from a USB drive. Let's click this away. Start using Debian. There is one thing that we need to check. Open the file explorer. Now control L and write slash boot. Here you should see the EFI folder. Go inside. Write your password. And again EFI. Here you should see a folder called Debian and also another folder called boot that's now missing here on my side. If you have the same situation as I have, a missing boot folder, then open the terminal. Now inside the terminal, write sudo grub install dash dash removable dash dash recheck dash dash efi dash directory equals slash boot slash efi. This one should fix the efi partition. Run it and the password. Installation finished, no error reported. Let's open again the file explorer. Control L slash boot, enter. Again, EFI and the password, EFI. And now here is the boot folder. Let's check one additional thing. Write lsplk, pipe, grep, and slash, enter. You should see something like this. The important thing here is that the EFI partition and the root partition are both on the same drive. So SDB and SDB in my case. For instance, you should not see SDA and SDB here. That would mean that the wrong partition is mounted here. In that case, you would need to unmount this partition, mount the right one at the same place and do grub install again. But in my case, everything is right here. So I can close this one. And that's it, you can take the USB drive to basically any machine you want, plug it in and boot into the fully installed Debian. If you like the videos I make and also want to support me, I also have a Patreon page. The link to the page is up there or down in the description. I really appreciate every support I get and it's because of your support that I can make videos like this one. So thank you very much. There is also another way how you can install Linux on a USB drive without using a virtual machine and using only one single USB drive. You can load the full installer into RAM while booting into it. And by doing that, you don't need a USB drive anymore. You can override it. So for instance, if you're interested how to load the full Ubuntu into RAM, then you can check out my previous video. The link to the video is up there or down in the description. And that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, if you like my content, if you think it's helpful, then please give a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.